Halloween polymer clay bottle caps have many uses. You can put a magnet on the back so you can stick it to a whiteboard or a refrigerator or other magnetic surface without any glue. You can glue on a pin back to wear it on your shirt or you can even make a decorative banner like this one. So let me show you how. To make the three bottle caps, you will need polymer clay. I've used black, orange, white, green, and purple, toothpick, metal bottle caps, and a baking pan that is not metal, such as glass or ceramic. To make the ghost bottle cap, I'm going to start with a layer of purple polymer clay. I roll a ball and press it into the bottle cap, making sure to smash it securely into the sides. Make sure it's flat and even. Make a decorative border all around the edge by just poking dots with a toothpick all the way around. Now form a ghost out of a tiny, tiny piece of white clay and press it securely into the background. Take the tiniest bits of black clay that you can get and roll them into tiny balls and set them in the ghost for two eyes and a mouth. A toothpick will be helpful to do this. Press them in a little with your finger. To make the spook bottle cap, we'll start with a green background. Make sure that you press the clay securely into the edges of the bottle cap so that it won't fall out after it's baked. Make sure it's smooth and even. We're going to give this one a decorative border or edge just by pressing the end of the toothpick down parallel to the clay just to make a little line all the way around the edge. How we're going to roll small balls of white clay to make the eyeballs. You want them to be large for an impact. Then press on small flattened balls of purple clay to make the eyeballs. Last, we're going to do tiny balls of black clay to make the pupils of the eyes. A toothpick can be helpful for this part. For the pumpkin, we'll start with a black background, again pressing a ball of polymer clay into the bottle cap, tightly into the edges so it won't fall out after baking. Make sure it's even and flat. To make the decorative border for this one, just going to make a zigzag back and forth with the end of a toothpick. Take a tiny piece of orange clay and form a pumpkin shape press it onto the background. Make eyes by getting tiny balls of black clay and placing them for the pumpkin's eyes and mouth. Make the tiniest balls of orange clay that you can to make some highlights in the eyes. A toothpick will help you place these where they need to be. Press them in slightly with your finger. Add a short green stem. Roll a small skinny snake of green clay and wrap it around the end of a toothpick to make a coil. Place the coil at the base of the stem of the pumpkin and use a toothpick to help you secure it in place. Add some detail to the pumpkin by drawing lines 
from the top to the bottom with the end of your toothpick. When you're done with your bottle caps, bake them according to the clay manufacturer's directions. Use a non-metal baking pan and it'll probably be about 275 degrees for 20 minutes, but be sure and follow the instructions on your package. Let them cool completely before you touch them. Please subscribe to my channel for more holiday craft ideas.